Hello, I'm Klantos, I'm a streamer on Twitch, and today I'm gonna have a small tutorial for you guys how I set up my stream to look the best for my viewers in games as Heroes of New Earth, uh, New World, CSGO, PUBG, Warzone, you name it, all of the games. So let's just jump into it. So we're finally finished with the intro and now we can start with the actual tutorial. So we're gonna start off with when we start up the OBS we are going into settings and on settings we get into general and you don't have to change anything we just keep this all by default keep on going to stream then you choose your platform you're gonna stream from in my case that it will be twitch second one I go with auto recommended because it's gonna probably choose the closest one which will be sweden stockholm and i get the best ping i don't do anything on twitch chat add-on so just keep it unchecked and in my case since i'm twitch partner i am gonna do press off this one or post it in because i can go up to 8000 kbps and if you are not a partner or if you are affiliate at least, you can go up to 6,000. So keep that uncrossed if you're not partnered. So we go into output. And I start off with uh, putting in advanced up here in output mode. Uh, we go into streaming. We keep this as default. And we go down to encoder. In the encoder, you want to have NVIDIA, the new one. The new one is very important. In the rescale, I put in 1664 times 936. For me, this is the best from 1080p, just so it rescales a little bit out to, to Twitch. It, the computer doesn't do anything. We do CBR. I do 8000 kbps. In your case, if you're not partnered, I would stay at 6000. E-frame. I put in two. I put on max quality for the best quality. Profile high. Look ahead, cross off on psycho visual tuning. I put in GPU. Since I only have one, I press it to put it on zero. And max B frames. This one I put on two. I had it on four before, but that made a lot of problems with Twitch when I connected. So which put me down from 8000 kbps down to 2100 so they locked me down instead of letting me like stream like usual and that made my stream really blurry so i would recommend keep this on two i'm dying i'm the cover we're getting it 60. Seven months. Ding ding. <laughs> oh, that's elite. So now we're done with the streaming part. We go over to recording. Recording, we don't change anything in. We just keep it as default. We go over to audio. And in audio, I have put everything on 320 so I can get the best sound out to you guys as possible. So I would put that up a little bit. You don't have to do as much as I do because I have a good internet connection. I have 500, 500, so I can just max it all out. Then we go over to audio and here I put in 48k set. I go with stereo and whatever I have here. I go into DK rate, I go with fast, sample peak, default, etc. etc. The rest is just as default. We go into video and here I have 1920 which I have on my screen. Outscale, I have 1920 as well. I go Lanskos, uh, 30 samples. And I am going with 48 FPS, because that's the best I can get out of my one single uh, PC setup. 
And here's the thing, you don't have to rescale in here to get it out on Twitch. That's why I rescale everything in here. So it's on Twitch is gonna show maximum 936. And this doesn't matter, you just keep that as default. It's gonna take the least of your computer. Aha. The precision strike. NV, what is NV? Northern War. <laughs> when we're finished with a uh, video, we are going into hotkey and on hotkeys I don't use anything since I use a stream deck but here you can set up fast keys uh, like switching between scenes or games or whatever. That makes us go over to advanced and here in advanced I do a high, high priority on process from your computer so Instead of it starting to lag for your viewers on Twitch or your platform you're streaming from, it's starting to lag in your game instead. So it's not gonna do much, but I do it on high. Most of the people do it above normal, but I keep it on high just because my computer can take it. it. It works out fine. Then we're going over to render. We do direct 3D 11, uh, color NV12. Color space. I do 709. Most of people are going for the 6, but I use this. We're going color ranged partial. Uh, and the rest, we just let be as it was. I hope I could help some of you guys out with the settings in OBS. And if you have any questions whatsoever, come by the Discord. There's a link in the description. Or come into the Twitch. Give it a follow. Say hi. And uh, please do thumb up this video and uh, follow our YouTube channel. See you guys in the next one.